everybody, today I have a very special review for you. First of all, just let me say that this is such a great product. It has helped me tremendously so far, I made the right decision. The best part is that you can reference and ask questions at any time to use this. Order today with confidence and if you put this information to test for 60 days and you don't see results and if you feel that this product does not help you, you will receive 100% of your money back. So that basically means that there is nothing, nothing to lose. Before purchasing it, I searched to find a discount and I found a huge discount. If you like to get the same discount, just visit the link below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Okay, let's face it, internet marketing has changed totally in the last couple of years. Techniques that used to work so amazingly well do not work anymore just because they've been overused and abused by too many marketers. There was a time when you could actually land hundreds of leads every day using a simple sign-up form and one lousy little PDF lead magnet. Now those days are gone, gone forever. Our customers have developed a strong resistance to filling in their email IDs. It's automatic and so strong that customers will often ignore the stuff they genuinely want just so they don't have to fill in their email. What's even worse, it's GDPR. If it wasn't hard enough to get people to sign up to begin with, GDPR makes it really difficult to get people to your sign-up page. You see, classic methods like solo ads are not even legit under GDPR. Why? Because GDPR says that you can't mail other people's offers, and that's what all those solo ad guys are really doing. Any day now, it's all going to crash and burn. So what are our options? Is there a single lead generation method left that actually works? That can still get us signups, leads, and profits? Or is it really time to say goodbye to internet marketing? Could there be a method that can get us signups without anyone having to fill in their email ID? A method in which a customer could just click a button and his email ID would go straight into our autoresponder so that we could mail him our offers. Wait, it has to be GDPR compliant. That's very important because GDPR is no longer just a law in Europe. In the United States, California has already passed a similar law to GDPR and you can bet other states will follow. So we want all of that and GDPR compliance. Do you think this is too much to ask for? What if I told you that such a method does exist and that top marketers have been using it for some time now to bank big profits? It's Facebook lead gen ads. Yes, Facebook allows you to run advertisements targeting absolutely any demographic, any audience, any interest group and grab their email IDs without them actually having to fill it in. All they do is click a button. The only problem is there's no way you can use this information. All Facebook will do is put those leads into a CSV file. You can then look at your leads all you want, but you can't mail to them. So what use are those leads anyway? What Facebook expects you to do is write code to connect leads to your back end, and that's crazy complicated. It requires a server, deep knowledge of programming and technologies like webhooks. Yes, top marketers who are already rich and resourceful can probably afford this expertise, but not people like us. So we are stuck again. What if there was a solution? A way to send those leads to your favorite autoresponder just as soon as they sign up so that you could mail them without a worry. It'd be permission-based and 100% GDPR compliant so that you never run into compliance issues. And you could do that without having to pay a pile of cash. This is Leads to List. It's a powerful web-based application that connects Facebook to your autoresponder in just a matter of minutes. With Leads to List in place, all the leads you get from Facebook will go straight into your autoresponder automatically. Just set it up once and you'll never have to even look at it again. Just load up Facebook and start running your lead gen ads. Then connect your Facebook page with Leads to List and Leads to List will pull all the ads that you're running. All you need to do now is select which autoresponder and which list those leads should go into. That's it. 
All your leads are coming home now, direct into your list, right where they belong. And because Facebook already has all the info about your customers, including names and email addresses, they never have to fill in. All they do is click a button. Low resistance means more signups and more profits. So don't wait. Sign up for more profits with Leads to List. Click on the button below to get instant access to Leads to List and grow your business faster with fresh leads and signups. Your investment is protected by our solid 30-day guarantee. In fact, if you don't absolutely love Leads to List, cancel your order within 30 days and we'll refund all your money. We know you'll love the difference it'll make in your business. So get Leads to List right now and experience it for yourself. Hi, Facebook. This is Leads to List, the latest application from us. And this application is to help marketers who are advertising on Facebook market better. And what it does is people who are giving lead generation ads on Facebook, they are generating leads, but they're not actually able to use the leads for anything because they just get a list of the leads. So this software connects Facebook to autoresponders and it connects, you know, Facebook lead ads to all the prominent autoresponders like Aweber, Constant Contact, MailChimp and all the others. So here's how it works and I will also explain the permissions we need. The permissions we need are manage pages and publish pages. So let's start with the pages permission. So the first step that you need to do to get leads to list working is to click on pages and that will show a list of all the Facebook pages that you've already added to the software. You can add a new Facebook page to the software, give the permission to the software by clicking on add new pages and that will take you to Facebook and it's going to get the list of all the pages in your account using Facebook API. So these are all the pages in my account and I can add any page I want to leads to list. So I can just click on the page, for example, this one, click on add page and that page will be added to my account. And when I go back to the pages section, I will see this page in my account. So here, here's the page you can see Jeet's hotel test page that's been added. The second step is to connect Facebook advertising to Jeet's hotel test page. So for that, I will need to start giving a start an ad in uh, Facebook uh, for this page. So I'm just going to do that. Click on page. You can see I selected Jeet, Jeet's hotel test page. And the objective of this ad is lead generation because this is an application which connects, you know, uh, lead advertisers and lets them connect their Facebook leads to their autoresponders. So just a little digression to connect an autoresponder, just like we connected Facebook pages, you can also connect autoresponders, click on autoresponders, and then you will see a list of all the autoresponders that have been already added. And to add an autoresponder, you click on add autoresponder, you select which autoresponder you want to add, and based on what kind of autoresponder that is, you will see the settings for each autoresponder. For example, Aweber needs consumer key and consumer secret. Get response needs API key. So whatever is required for your autoresponder to work, that you will need to fill in and the autoresponder will be added and it'll show up like this one. For example, I have added MailChimp and this is my account name. These are the number of the lists. The second thing that you need to add is the lead form. Now the lead forms are, you are extracted from Facebook using the API, just like we got the pages. We also need to get the lead forms and the lead forms are a part of Facebook advertising. So to, before you can get a lead form, you will need to first start a lead generation ad. So we are, we have started a lead generation ad here, click on pages. It's going to ask you to accept the terms when you first run it for the first time. So you can read the TOS and you can accept it, click on accept and that that's it. That's what's required. Then you, you can add an optional catalog if you want, but for this ad, we don't want anything like that. And if you want to put any custom audiences, you can do that. So uh, at this for this ad, we don't want to require, we don't require any custom audiences also. So we're just gonna keep this generic because I want to take you to the place where we get the forms ad, uh, we get the lead form. So I've just, I'm just gonna click on continue. And let's go with this image, which is fine by me and some text. So this is some test text and we can put this in the headline too 
and which is gonna say sign up, which is good for lead generation ads. And then we gotta get a lead form. This is where you collect, you create a lead form right here. So click on new form and you'll be asked some questions like form type and intro and everything. I'm just gonna fill it up quickly because this is standard Facebook information. Okay, so I filled all this info in, the form type, the intro I filled in, I filled in what information I need, the email and the name. I filled in my privacy policy URL and the thank you screen. I'm gonna use the default. And when I'm done with all of that, I can just go on to the next click on save. And this lead form will be saved. So it's called Untitled Form 2018 and whatever. I can see the lead form over here. So now I should be able to see the lead form inside my inside my leads list interface. Also, for that, I need to click on add lead form and select the page that the lead form is set for, which is Jeet's hotel test page. Click on add form. Can see I can see the lead form over here and I can click on add lead form and the lead form is also added to my Facebook page so I just added this lead form from this Facebook page and now I can now you know we are using webhook technology because uh, webhook is used for uh, you know to notify our app whenever a new lead signs up and the lead gen webhook is what we are using and that is enabled by manage pages and publish pages so once we have these permissions, all of this setup is already done and people will be able to sign up using Facebook and their leads will be taken to the favorite autoresponder of the user and that way the user can actually use the leads and market the lead and market to the leads and this software actually you know makes it practical for internet marketers website owners or any businesses to use lead gen to use lead gen ads effectively and the final step is connecting the lead form ad from the page to the autoresponder and we do that in campaigns so click on campaigns and you can start a new campaign let's clear a new campaign clicking the add campaign button and let's call it my campaign and select the page which was Jeet's hotel test page for us and you will see the lead form entitled form that I had set up select the autoresponder which was MailChimp and just select a list on the autoresponder so it gets the list from the autoresponders using the autoresponder API so we can select the list and if you want to select to set up a me welcome message like thanks for subscribing or whatever you want you can do so but in this case let's go for none and click on add campaign now whenever a new lead is generated on Facebook and you can go back to campaigns and see that your campaign has been added. Now, whenever a new lead is generated on Facebook from the Facebook ad, it automatically gets called, uh, you know, it automatically, call, automatically calls the webhook on leads to list and it automatically submits the lead to the autoresponder using the autoresponder API. So it happens quite transparently. Once the user has set up the autoresponder, once the user has set up the lead form and connected it using a campaign, then things are pretty transparent. As long as the ad is running on Facebook, the leads that which sign up come in directly into the autoresponder. So this is exactly how the software works. This is the entire software. So this is why we need the permissions. The permissions we need are manage pages, to get page information and publish pages to enable the webhook where we use the lead gen you know uh, uh, the lead gen webhook that we need uh, to enable the webhook we need we need these two permissions and that's all we need actually for this app so i'm hoping that you will give me give us a quick approval so that we can take this app live thank you very much